it's me, Jen, your pudgy picker. Um, for those of you who are new or tuning in for the topic of weight loss, my name is Jen. I have been on YouTube for over 10 years, can't believe it, and I do content related to reselling. I sell in an antique mall and I also sell on eBay. So if you're here just for the weight loss stuff or you're just seeing this for the first time, consider subscribing to my channel. You might find some interesting things uh, other than weight loss. So um, I guess we should get to the weight loss uh, and talk about what we're here to talk about. I have some notes that I've made because I tend to ramble. <laughs> Any of you who have seen me more than one time, you know that. So I'm going to try and be very precise and exact and get through some information on this video. Subsequent videos after this will be mainly about uh, just how the week went, what my weight is, um, that kind of thing. So first thing, of course, we are on the internet and we have to talk about a disclaimer. Um, I am not a doctor. I am not a nurse. I am not in the, the healthcare field. I don't even play one on TV. <laughs> and I am just telling you what my experiences are. So when we talk about these things, it's not like this is going to be your experience. You are a different person than me. You may or may not find what I'm doing works for you. Uh, it may work better. It may not work at all. I'm just telling you what my experiences uh, may be. Um, and to think that so many people now are taking this and so many people are looking for information, it's kind of hard to find uh, real life you know, experiences on this. And that's kind of what I wanted to do was talk about my experience. Um, I did a video not too long ago where I asked my viewers uh, what they thought about me um, going ahead and doing this type of journey or talking about it on my channel. Um, I think most of the comments were very favorable for me to do it. Uh, I wouldn't say that there were any negative. There were comments that were showing concerns and the concerns weren't necessarily about me sharing what's going on, but actually taking any kind of these weight loss prescription medications. And I totally get that. I totally appreciate where everyone was coming from. Um, I've done a lot of research. I'm a very pragmatic person. I don't just, you know, we just jump into stuff and not check it out or not explore it or not fully understand it before I move forward on it. So any of you who had those concerns, I truly appreciate that. If you have any concerns going forward, I have no issue with you talking to me about that or mentioning it in the comments. But what uh, I will not have in the uh, chat is, or in the comments down below, is nasty, negative nasty comments. If there's a, a disagreement, no problem, we could talk about it. Um, if it's just gonna be nasty comments, then I will be uh, deleting those. That being said, I've been on YouTube a long time. I've cultivated a very good community here and uh, opening it up this kind of video is going to put me in a position where I may get more scrutiny or more comments on the negative side than I normally get. And that's saying something for being on YouTube for as long as I have been. Um, next, let's see, my weight loss history. <laughs> I'm going to try and keep this short. <laughs> I am 56 years old. I have tried many things over the years to lose weight. I really started getting uh, heavier when I was a kid, when I was 13 or 14 years old. Um, I had a few events that happened around that time, I believe, that have caused me to gain weight and to use food as a way of helping your feelings and making you feel better. Uh, really, it doesn't work out that way. And you end up having more health issues and more uh, things like that. I have done keto, which I, I, I really advocated for. I really liked it. I felt great on it. I just got to a point where I had to start tackling the issues of why I was eating. And that's a big deal with this kind of weight loss. Whether you're just gonna count calories, do a medication, whatever you choose to do, you've got to address 
the stuff up here because that is a huge, huge factor in why uh, why you are heavy and why are you eating. And uh, going through different diets and trying different things has made me really aware of that. So uh, other than trying keto, I did Noom for a while. Noom I, I, is a very great uh, is a very great program. Uh, if you are not sure what to eat or you need certain insights, that's good. Uh, I've often said that I, am, I don't have an eating disorder, but of course, because I'm heavy, it shows that my eating is disordered. Does that make sense? It does to me. So that being said, um, my history, uh, like I said, I started gaining weight when I was around 13, 14 years old. I've been heavy most of my life. Um, as far as where I am at right now physically, um, I am heavy. Uh, my uh, medical issues have been almost non-existent, which a lot of people who are heavy and in my age, that's not the case. Um, I believe a lot of people who advocate to, you know, it's okay to be heavy and those type of things. A lot of that, a lot of that speech is coming from people who are probably like in their 20s and 30s. You feel way different carrying heavy, carrying a lot of weight when you're in your 20s and 30s that you don't feel later in life. You know, you may feel, oh, wow, I, you know, I feel great and I can go and do things and I like how I look. And if, if that's where you're at, I, I, am, I am not one to tell you that that's not the way you should be. But in my experience, uh, getting older, once you kind of hit 40, 45, a lot of the things that, uh, that uh, you know, physically, you start hurting, uh, your energy isn't what it used to be, it's more difficult. Um, so that's where I find myself. Um, I've lost, I've gone up and down in weight probably the last four years that I've been trying. I got down pretty far and was very happy with how I did. But life events, things creep up on you. We have challenges and different things we're going through. And that's, uh, that's what leads me to finally come to this point where I need to make that decision. I needed that extra, that extra thing on my side to help me. Um, so let's talk about what I am doing. Um, I am taking semi-glutide. Um, it is a medication that is prescribed. Um, I will probably go into a little bit detail of where I, where I get mine a little bit later, but uh, there's several different kinds of medication for weight loss. Um, everybody hears about Ozempic. Um, Ozempic is an injectable for type 2 diabetes. The side effect of the Ozempic was losing weight. So hence a lot of people were jumping on the bandwagon to get it and to uh, you know get that benefit of losing weight whether or not they were uh, diabetic. Um, there's Wagovi, which is basically the version I am taking. It is an injectable that is directly for weight loss. Uh, it is not for type 2 diabetes. Um, I'm sh you know Ozempic uh, is very specific to people who have diabetes. Um, I know when I started looking into these types of medications, I was very careful and thinking, um, I know there's Ozempic, there could be shortages here and there, and I really didn't want to take anything that, that uh, when I could take something else that uh, would not be for type 2 diabetes and make sure that I am not adding to the supply chain issue. Um, I know that's been a past issue. I don't know where that's out right now but um, I am taking the Wigovi. There's also a medication that, is, um, that uh, I've seen um, advertised and it's Rebelsis. Down with Rebelsis. So yeah, you've, you've heard it too. So that is not an injection. It is a pill form for type two diabetes. Okay, had to take a little pause to drink. I'm dry as a bone. So that's basically what is available, what it was available to me, and what I decided to go ahead with. Um, I'm not a scientist. <laughs> I didn't do, do so good with science in my schooling, but um, basically, how does it work? It lowers your blood sugar, and in certain people, it can reduce the risk of major, major cardiovascular uh, events, such as heart attacks and strokes. 
Um, this medicine lowers the amount of glucagon, which delays gastric emptying. What the heck does that mean? It means basically it's reducing your appetite by way of you feel fuller uh, on less food. So it's basically slowing your digestive system down so that instead of eating and then a certain amount of time later, you don't feel as full or you might want to eat again, that that is not the case. Um, so uh, that leads us into side effects. Um, there are many people who, uh, who you start at a certain dosage and then um, a lot of people are in a rush to up that dosage. Um, the reason why they start you at such a low amount is because you want to start slowing that digestive system down uh, very slowly and very incrementally. You don't want to just throw something at your body and then it stops. Because if you're, uh, there's different medical reasons why if you stop, you could literally cause issues uh, with your intestines. Your intestines, good part of them could die. I mean, it's a serious, serious thing. So some of the basic, more moderate uh, side effects are diarrhea, vomiting, constipation, stomach pain, headache, tiredness, upset stomach, dizziness, feeling bloated, belching, <laughs> lower blood sugar, which could be a problem in people who have normal blood sugar, gas, joy, heartburn, um, runny nose or sore throat. I didn't know about the runny nose. So, uh, in, you know, you read all these side effects and it's like, wow, that's crazy. That's a lot. Less than 5% of people experience these lesser issues. There are also serious issues, which are less, what I'm going to tell you is less than 2% um, of uh, less, uh, let me, let me, so less than 5% of people experience any side effects. Let me restate that. Less than 2%, it's greater uh, in, uh, in less than, oh, golly, you know, this is my brain. I'm a one-take girl. We're just going to go. They did, if you read the, the in, you know, the, the slip that's in there or you go online and read it, it's like really dry, but it's important to read that because it shows you, it compares people taking the medication as well as people taking it, uh, a placebo version. So you get people who feel a certain way or have certain side effects, but it's not the real medication. So it's a very small amount of people who have serious complications. Uh, serious complications can be thyroid tumors, um, certain kinds of cancer, your pancreatitis, which is that issue, what I was talking about, about slowing down your digestive to the point where it could stop, uh, gallbladder problems, kidney issues, increased heart rate, depression, depression, and in a small number of people, it could increase, includes, ugh. see, this is, this is who I am, so you're just going to have to go with it. Hey, you know, edit that out. No, I don't. Um, thoughts of suicide. So, um, these are incredibly important to know, to know symptoms, to understand. Um, you are the best advocate for your own body. Your doctor may prescribe th something that they think is going to work for you, but you're the one living in your body 24-7, and you are more able to see what's going on and understand how you're feeling. And if you have any concerns, you should bring them up with your doctor. Um, treatment schedule. Uh, this is something that is on the website. It's on the insert in the packaging of the uh, medicine. Basically, for weeks one through four, the medication is taken by injection one time a week. So week one through four, you take 0.25 milligrams. Um, I am just starting week two. That's why I decided to do this overall video and include my week one. Uh, week 5 to 8, it's half a milligram. Um, week 9 to 12, it's 1 milligram. Week 13 to 16, 1.7. And then week 17 on, it, you can be at 2.4 milligrams or 1.7. Um, it might be taken less frequently, and that's considered a maintenance mode. Now, this is not saying that you have to follow this schedule. 
you have to start low, but if you are, it's like any medication, if you start moving up and taking it and you hit on a certain area where it's working well, then there's really no need to go higher. And I think that's part of the problem some people might be having is that they are taking the medication and they just, oh, I've got to go lose faster. I want to lose more. I want to keep going. And I, I'm not, I'm not uh, of that mindset. So I am right now currently at, uh, one, at 0.25. Right away I'm doing well. I have very few side effects, but we'll talk about that. So we've talked about the disclaimer. We've talked about my comments and my history, um, what I am taking, which is 0.25. Um, how it works, the treatment schedule, we've talked about side effects, and I guess the last part of it is why uh, did I choose these meds? Along with struggling with my weight for so long, um, I see my doctor for a regular checkup every year. It's usually late summer. Um, last August, I spoke with my doctor and we talked in... Okay, sorry for the brief interruption. Okay. So I was in tears with my doctor. I'm like, I've tried all these different things. I'm, I'm still struggling. I know there's weight loss medication on the market. What can I do? What can I take? Will my insurance cover it? And she brought up these very medications that I'm taking. And she said, your insurance does not cover it. You have to have uh, a certain amount of medical issues to get it, um, which I didn't have. So... Uh, you have to be morbidly obese, according to my insurance. You have to have at least two weight-related illnesses and uh, something else. So I had worked hard to lose a certain amount of weight and going in there and then saying, I'm stuck, I need help, I'm not where I need to be, what can I do, I'm, I'm wanting to give up, and being told that, that I was not fat enough and I wasn't sick enough to be on these medications that my insurance would cover it was upsetting, to say the least. So uh, I said, okay, then how much would it be if I just did it without insurance? It would be over $1,000 a month. That's not in my budget. <laughs> um, there's no way I could have swung that amount of money. And uh, I had other things that I, you know, bills and other things that I you know, I'm paying for, and I, I couldn't, I, there's no way I could justify that, doing that. Um, so that was the end of that. Keep trying, keep struggling, and then I start seeing different places that are popping up that do telehealth. They do uh, over the, uh, you know, online, they'll sit and talk with you, they're medical professionals that, uh, that you can have access to, companies that explain exclusively do uh, these types of medications. So then once I clicked on one, oh, that's interesting, I'll look at that. Then you start getting just bombarded. And I'm looking at this, and it's this amount of money, and this, it's this amount of money, and this one is, oh, you gotta commit to this, and then it's that, uh, this one is just a doctor, you know, this one, you know, doesn't guide you nutritionally. It, it, it ended up being just this huge amount of basically just buzzing noise in my head that I'm like, I know I want to do this and I know there is something out there that's going to fit me and I really, really want to do that. So I ended up landing on a place uh, called Mochi Health, M-O-C-H-I and then the word health. Um, this place, uh, I started with them uh, talking with them, uh, the intake was very thorough. Uh, it was a you know history on uh, you know my family and different issues and you know what kind of uh, things I've tried. You know my age, my weight, a lot of stuff that uh, I think it really I, I felt good that the people that were taking this information that they were taking it seriously and that uh, you know this big questionnaire you have to go through to see if you even qualify. Because as you go through, it has certain illnesses, and if you have these illnesses, they're not, they're not going to do it. You have to do those things through a doctor. Let's say I have type 2 diabetes and I want to take, you know, uh, Ozempic. That's something you should uh, discuss with your primary uh, doctor. 
So it became a point where uh, you have to go through there and through their uh, list, I qualified. So in uh, talking with them and figuring it out, I am paying $79 a month to be in this program and the actual medication portion is $179. The first month, uh, they took $100 off, so it was just $79. So that I could swing. Um, I just recently paid off my car, so I told myself, you know, I'm going to keep chucking money at that. Once I get that settled, I'm going to uh, pursue this and see where I can go with it. So, uh, so I talked with the doctor. I made uh, an appointment. Uh, I had a full half an hour with a doctor. We talked about where I am, where I'm going, what I want to do, uh, a brief history of what I've tried, what has worked, what has not worked. Um, and then after that, she felt that I could be on the medication and went ahead and set it up. Now, this delivers to your house. So um, I believe my medication was shipped from Florida. I live in Ohio. So it arrived in a little cooler, had the packs in there, had the syringes and the, uh, the little, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, the uh, alcohol wipes and uh, the vial. Now, part of the thing I think, though it's my opinion, it's all totally my conjecture from all the stuff I've looked up and read and understood, that if I would have gone through my doctor, I would have got an injector pen that you just set the amount, just do it, and then put it in the fridge for the next time, or you throw it away, you get a fresh new pen, everything's loaded, everything's done. Um, I think that is part of what adds to the cost of these medications. So uh, knowing that it was going to be a vial, you know, you ever see in the movies, they hold the vial up and then they go with the liquid. I mean, it's not quite like that, but it is, it is, that's what it is. So I think that's another way that they cut costs, that you're actually measuring out, uh, you know, the dosage instead of using a pen that has all that stuff in there to make it do uh, exactly what it's supposed to do. So, I mean, that's my thinking on it. It makes sense to me. So that being the case, they sent it. Um, so I want to give you some accurate information as far as what amount of time that it took, let me adjust you, the time that it took for me to uh, start this plan. So my doctor's appointment was on June 30th. Um, so I spoke to her, we agreed that she would, uh, you know, approve it and send it through. Um, I got the meds on um, July 6th. So that's pretty quick. So within a week, um, and I don't know what kind of runway time a lot of these places have. They've become very popular, and I know a lot of people are jumping on the bandwagon to do these. So I don't know what your experience will be if you choose to do this. But from June 30th, doctor's appointment, July 6th, got the medication. I started the meds on July 9th. wanted to give myself a couple of days Um you kind of have, you kind of pick a day because whatever day you, you started on, that's going to be your dosing day every week. Um, then, you know, uh, not just talking to the doctor and it's like, oh yeah, here it is. Go ahead and take it. See ya. Um, this program through Mochi Health has a nutritionist. So I was able to speak with her. So I spoke with her on uh, July 9th, the day I started the medication. Um, had a very nice discussion. I was on the phone for probably like 40 minutes with her. Uh, I, I know a lot, you know, all, fee, all fat people know a lot about nutrition. <laughs> We're all so smart. Um, but the fact is I wanted to talk with a nutritionist to see how I should be eating with being on the medication. So should I be concentrating more on protein? Should I, there's certain things I should completely eliminate or avoid? And how many calories should I be eating? And those types of things. So that, uh, that was really what I wanted to go over with her. So I'm meeting with her in another two weeks. Uh, actually, the 23rd I'm meeting with her. So she wanted me to start with the instructions and on the medication. And then two weeks... She asked me to write everything down that I'm eating um, and went over certain information. The doctor gave me things that I should be doing. 
Um, you should be drinking at least one two liter uh, amount of water, if not two. So I kind of hit in between and I'm guesstimating um, and I've been drinking literally 13 cups of water a day. Um, when I first started this, and I decided to do it, I went ahead and uh, the week before, I actually started taking the medications, I started drinking the water. Um, she uh, recommended I take a pro probiotic, so I got one of those. Um, what else? She had certain things that she was telling me, this is what you need, this is what you need to do. And I was making sure that I was starting to do those things because I knew it would be, you know, it's hard when you're when you're going to start a, a weight loss journey. You're like, well, I'm going to drink all my water and I'm going to walk 10 miles and I'm going to eat everything I should and I'm going to graze in the backyard. And, you know, you think of all these things that, you know, we're just just Monday. I'm just just going to knock it out of the park. So I didn't want to get into that. And I knew there was going to be a lot of changes. So I went ahead and kind of started doing that. So I lost the first week before I even started the medication. Um, and a lot of it, of course, is water weight. You know, your body's like, oh, wait, what are we doing? Okay, let's flush this water. So I get it. It's not like, oh, I lost 20 pounds in the first two weeks. No, it's not that. So uh, as, as with any medication, any, any, any medication you take, you need to be working in harmony with that medication. So it's not like, oh, I have diabetes, so okay, now I'm going to have to take this medication. Well, I could still eat what I want. I could still eat cake and all this stuff every day. And so I think there's there's a, a mindset of some people that are just like, hey, I'll just do this and, and everything will be fine. I mean, I, I'm spending a lot of money on this and I'm a cheap person. <laughs> and I want to make sure that any money I'm spending on this, I am, I'm going to be working in concert with it to, you know, to do it. So... So that's how that started. So let's actually get into some numbers. Now I want to be transparent. I know a lot of people are like, oh, I don't want to talk about my weight. I don't care. I'm fat. People don't have a number for it. It's a number. Um, but I had gained probably 35 to 40 pounds back from where I had been. And that's very, very disappointing. But so the day I had the doctor's appointment was the 30th. So Monday, July 1st, I weighed in at 264.4. It's terrible. It's terrible. I haven't been this high in quite a while. But instead of being upset with myself and, and being angry and being, you know, whatever, just like, okay, that's where you're going to look back and say that's where I was. So uh, so on Monday, I, wore, I, I was 264.4. And the day that I took my first shot, I was 256.4. So I had a loss already. Again, like I said, I know that was, you know, a lot of that was water weight and your body trying to get into what you're doing. Um, I drink, I had been drinking Diet, or Diet Pepsi for ever. I would literally drink gallons of it. Um, I justified it by saying, I've given up so much that I'm just going to hang on to this thing. But now that I'm drinking water, I make that a priority. And then uh, later in the day, if or if I let myself have one, you know, bottle, the 16.9, I'll let myself have one. And it's not like I'm letting myself have one, but I, I can't drink what I used to drink with that and drink all the water. So I make water a priority. I do put lemon juice, I'll put some of the flavor enhancers, I'll put some of the little packets once in a while. But usually when I get up, I drink at least two cups of water, just plain, just down the hatch. So I drink 13 cups a day. So at first, that's a lot. And I try to get it done, not all at once, but earlier in the day, because anything after like three or four o'clock, you end up getting up at night, and, and my my sleep has not always been good, so that's just not helping. So week one of being on the medication. I took the shot on Tuesday the 9th, um, and, you know, you're just waiting. You're waiting for these horrible side effects that people talk about. Um, the only issues I've had for the first week that I've taken this is I have had some headaches. Now I know headaches can be caused by dehydration 
And I know that isn't necessarily the case with me because of the amount of water I'm drinking, but I try to just drink water and, you know, keep that, keep that uh, going, keep that hydration. Um, so that's it. I haven't really, uh, the first week I haven't had any issues other than that. Um, my sleep is not so great, so I was hoping with not drinking as much Diet Pepsi and you know, being, uh, eating better and moving more that, that, uh, naturally my sleep would get better. So, um, I was to a point where I was taking sleep medication almost every night and still having a hard time getting to sleep, having a hard time if I woke up getting back to sleep, um, and then sleeping too late. And then maybe I'd be tired and maybe take a nap and it just kept snowballing. So I told myself, with drinking the water and doing these other things, I'm just going to completely not have any nighttime sleepy medication just to see what this does for me. So the night that took the first shot, second shot was the 16th. Um, so my weight from the first shot to the next shot, I went from 256.4 to 252 even. So I went down 4.4 pounds in the first week with the medication and not including what I had done the week before. So how much of that is my eating? A decent amount. How much is that is the medication? Mm, a little because it's just starting to build up in your system. It does take that first month at least to be on the small dose to kind of build that up and get going. So I understood that. Um, so again, uh, that's the only issue I've had is headaches. Um, I can't think of anything else that I've really been dealing with. Uh, as far as the poo process, everything's been fine. I uh, haven't had any issues with that. Um, I want to, uh, I'm going to have my nutritionist appointment uh, next week sometime. So I'll probably do next week's video on Wednesday will be a weigh in Wednesday. I will give you my weight. I will talk to you about my uh, any appointments I've had, uh, any uh, new symptoms or new issues. Um, I wasn't real tired the first week. I know a lot of people get really tired. Uh, when I took the second shot yesterday, I was I was really tired, and then today I've been. It's kind of gloomy outside, and I've been kind of like, Ugh. so I've been a little tired. Um, trying to give myself grace that if I want to take a nap or I want to sleep, it's fine. Yesterday I ended up taking a nap and I thought, oh, it's going to mess up my sleep. I went to bed. I still slept well. So I'm still learning. I'm still adapting to what my new normal is. Um, you know, if I have any, I've had a couple times, I think, where I felt a little bit nauseous, just a little bit of that, oh, you know, you know what I'm talking about, but nothing came of it. I also... <laughs> Side note, um, I have, I don't know if you'd consider it an issue, but I have at times where I feel nauseous and then <clears throat> like 10 seconds later I'll sneeze and that's a vagus issue. Vagus nerve, your vagus nerve. I know it's weird, but sometimes I'll get that where I'm like, oh, you get that first feeling and then you're like, oh, do I need to find a place to sit down or go? And then I'll sneeze and it goes away. It's the weirdest thing. So I've had that a little bit, but I'm like, wait a minute, is that the medication? Is that me? Is that my little weirdness? But it's uh, not been the medication. So um, I'm going to keep uh, going at this at this amount, see how I do. Uh, and then uh, when I talk to the doctor, um, they, they said after the third shot, immediately that day put in an order to get a refill. Um, I think it's going to be two months from when I started to when I talked to the doctor. So I'll probably be talking to them the end of August. So if I'm happy at this dose for a little while, I may just kind of hang out at this level. The good thing with Mochi Health also is as you go up in the dosing, they don't charge you more. So whether you're just starting out or you're at the top or you're in maintenance or somewhere in between, uh, they don't charge you a different amount, so that's nice. Um, I have a referral. Uh, if you go through, uh, if you're interested, if you decide to do something like this, I don't want to. I don't want to be like, hey, everybody, this is great. You know, go in and I get credit and all this stuff. 
I mean, if you're truly interested in starting, um, send me a message. It's down in the description box below in my email. Uh, and I can, uh, I think you just need my full name to get to get uh, in there as a referral and then that kicks back to me. I don't want anybody starting anything that they're not ready for and I think there's certain things that you shouldn't be doing if you're not ready. If you're going through a lot of turmoil or a lot of outside stuff, I don't think you should do this yet. Uh, I mean, nothing is perfect. There's no perfect circumstances. We're like, there's nothing going on. Everything's great. Let's start it. I get that. But uh, to you know, demand this level of being on point and eating right and drinking and you know, taking the medications and paying attention to side effects, it's maybe wait until there's not so much going on in your life to kind of get that started. And then once you do that, you'll kind of understand how you're doing on the medication. Um, if you're just you know checking in or you think it's interesting or you want to follow, um, you can subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bells. Um, I am planning on putting up Weight Loss Contact on Wednesdays. Uh, I'll do the series as long as I want, as long as I am comfortable with it. Uh, I know giving away uh, my my weight number is, I mean, uh, most people in my life that I'm close to, you know, hey, you know, this is what I weigh. And they're like, oh, you don't need to tell me. It's like, it doesn't bother me. Um, I'm very tall, so I think that that adds to, you know, me not looking as heavy as I am. Um, but, you know, I want to be honest with you. I want to give you honest reviews. If you think this is something you want to try, but you want to wait, keep tuning in. And see how it goes with me. Uh, see what the ins and outs are. I, nothing of this video is sponsored. Nobody's paying me anything. Um, I am just wanted to come on and give you what I'm doing what, what is working or not working for me, and you make your own decision. Or if you know someone in your life who's, uh, who's doing this, maybe point them my direction. Um, I do appreciate you tuning in and watching this. Um, the videos won't be quite as long from now on. It's just going to be like, here's where I'm at, maybe hit some major milestones, any appointments, you know, any side effects for that week that kind of thing, any change in dosage. So from now on, the videos probably will just be 10, 15 minutes long, I'm guessing. Not this long. And I just wanted to give everybody an overview, introduce myself, and just say how I got to where I am. Um, I hope you forgive my little, my little mistakes and flutters. I am a real person. I just want to talk. And, uh, you know, nobody does jump cuts in their regular life. So if you want something a little more polished and a little more music in the background and all that stuff, then maybe I'm not your girl for that. But if you're here for just some honest, truthful, to-the-point information, that's me. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time, and thanks for your time. Bye!